Hello my dear students, welcome back to Learn Physics. In last class video we learned about the semiconductor electronics in that introduction part and along with that we learned about intrinsic semiconductor. And in last video itself I told you I gave an uh, uh, concept about extrinsic semiconductor. So as I told you in the previous video, I am going to explain about the extrinsic semiconductor. So what is meant by an extrinsic semiconductor? So intrinsic semiconductor means the semiconductor germanium or silicon when we are considering it when and it is exciting with a particular temperature it will be moving to the the electrons will be moving to the conduction band and the conduction will happen in those cases number of free electrons electrons and number of holes will be equal so very less number of free electrons or holes will be present over there so for that here in the case of extrinsic semiconductor, extrinsic sem semiconductor we can say it as doped semiconductor. Uh, what is meant by doping? When we are adding impurity to the pure semiconductor, we can call it as doped semiconductor processes called doping and the metals or components which we are using for doping or substances which we are using for doping is called as dopants okay here in the case of extrinsic semiconductor we will be adding impurity to the uh, semiconductors pure to the semiconductor to the pure semiconductor we will be adding impurity so we will get it as doped semiconductors those doped semiconductors are of two types one is n type semiconductor and the other one is p type semiconductor okay See, here in the case of N-type semiconductor, we will be along with germanium or silicon. They, these are the semiconductors. Along with that, we will be adding a pentavalent impurity. Pentavalent impurity means valency is 5. Pentavalent impurity. Pentavalent impurity examples are arsenic, antimony, bismuth, all these, phosphorus, all these are pentavalent impurity. At the outermost shell, it will be having five electrons. But we know that in germanium or silicon, the valence electrons are four. Here, five electrons are there. Then how it will be, see this, here five electrons are there at the valence band. So, here these four electrons will be in covalent bonding with the four electrons of this pentavalent impurity. The outermost four electrons will be in uh, this covalent bonding with four electrons in the pentavalent impurity. Now, one electron is miss, uh, this extra over there, right? That will be a free electron over there. It is not having any uh, other, at, uh, any electron to get uh, covalent bonding. So, it will be free. So, one free electron is getting from one atom. Like that, in a pentavalent impurity, when we are adding one, that's many, n number of, n more number of electrons will be producing. So, electrons, amount of free electrons will be more. Right? The more number of free electrons will be producing. So, here we can say electrons will be the major charge carriers in the case of N-type semiconductor. Because after four, elect four electrons will be coming in uh, bonding with the four valence electrons of germanium or silicon. And one electron will be uh, the extra in each and every atom. So, those four, those electrons will be acting as a free electrons and it will be the carrier of electricity. So, these ele here electrons are the major carriers of electricity or we can say electrons are the majority carriers in N type semiconductor, N negative. So, electrons, electrons are the majority carriers in N type semiconductors. Then what about the holes, whether holes will be producing over there. So, if we are increasing the temperature as 
as we said in the intrinsic semiconductor electrons will be shifting to the conduction band and their holes will be producing so a less number of holes also will be there so that will be the minority carriers so in the case of n type semiconductors electrons are the majority carriers and holes will be the minority carriers okay clear children what about n type semi so here in last class when how we did like that when i am drawing germanium crystals and all and along with that if i am adding one arsenic or antimony here 1 2 3 4 and here 1 2 3 4 5 here four electrons will be getting see all the electrons of arsenic will be getting shared with the nearby germanium atom here one electron is extra like that many number of electrons will be producing and along with that if we are increasing the temperature from here also electrons will come out one or two holes also will be producing so holes will be the minority carriers over there and electrons will be the majority carriers what about the valence band that's val this energy band in this here yeah we we know for the semiconductors it is valence band is over here and this is about the conduction band and energy uh, eg energy gap is less than 3 electron volt right but when we are adding this impurities pentavalent impurities those valence electrons won't be reaching to the conduction band and it will be having an energy band just below the conduction band okay so here when it is getting a less amount of energy those electrons will move to the conduction band this energy level is called a donor energy level okay so this electrons will be moving when when it is getting a very less amount of energy it will all will be jumping towards the conduction band okay clear children about the energy uh, band or energy level in n type semiconductors next we are going to study about the p type semiconductors what is meant by a p type semiconductor in the case of germanium or silicon these are the semiconductors right they will be added along with a, a trivalent impurity trivalent impurity from here we learn right penta means 5 5 valence electron so what will be a trivalent impurity trivalent impurity means outermost shell three electrons are there so boron as one such kind of atom and uh, see if boron when we are adding boron along with germanium or silicon what will happen it has only three electrons at the outermost shell right so instead of this arsenic if i am adding boron only three electrons will be present so for one electrons are not there so it will be existing as a hole only right so in this case three here four electrons are there but here valence electron is three so this three electrons will be coming in uh, bonding with the germanium but one uh, position will be vacant a vacancy will be there that va vacancy is called as hole so here holes will be the number of holes will be more in the case of a p type semiconductor therefore the holes are called a majority carriers in the p type semiconductor and which will be the minority carriers then electrons will be the minority carriers how the electrons will be producing over there when we are giving temperature what will happen the electrons can jump to the higher energy level so electrons will come out and the number of holes will be more over there electrons will be very very less in number therefore in the case of p type semiconductors electrons will be the minority carriers and holes will be the majority carriers okay clear children this is about the p type semiconductor okay when we are discussing about the energy band in the p type semiconductor here we know that this is for a semiconductor valence band is over here and conduction band is over here as we said their energy gap is less than 3 electron volt the valence ba valence electrons of the p the trivalent impurity will be having an energy which is very near to the valence band they are called as acceptor energy level okay it has acceptor energy so here it is having energy electrons over here 
when we are adding temperature when we are increasing the temperature to the system what will happen electrons at the valence band will be shifting towards the acceptor energy level so when the electrons are shifting to the acceptor energy level what will happen here holes will be generating that is how the how that holes will be the carriers of electricity over there okay here mainly extrinsic semiconductor means it is doped semiconductors in the doped semiconductors two types are there n type and p type pentavalent impurity means one electron is extra so it is n uh, negative charges that is electrons are the majority carriers in the case of trivalent impurity p type semiconductor that is uh, p type semiconductor uh, the holes are the majority carriers and when we are considering energy band donor energy level will be just near to conduction band and when it is getting less number of less energy less amount of energy this electrons will be shifting to the conduction band and in the case of uh, p type semiconductor the acceptor energy level is very close to valence band when it is getting less amount of energy this from valence band the electrons will be shifting towards the acceptor energy level and holes will be creating over there okay clear children children now we will move to the comparison between the intrinsic and extrinsic semiconductor under different factors first when we are considering a, a purity of semiconductor it is Uh, intrinsic semiconductors will be pure semiconductor extrinsic is doped semiconductor that's why it is impure then when they are considering the density of electrons the number of electrons will be more in the extrinsic semiconductor right so when we are considering the density density of electrons in intrinsic semiconductor is equal to uh, density of holes that is ne equals nh but in the case of extrinsic semiconductors density will be varying we know uh, today just now we to uh, learned about the n types and p types semiconductor right in that n type semiconductor electrons will be more and uh, uh, p type semiconductor holes will be more right then next when we are considering the electrical conductivity conductivity is very low in intrinsic semiconductor and in the case of electrical uh, extrinsic semiconductor conductivity is high and about the temperature effect dependence on temperature only here in the case of extrinsic semiconductor depends on the amount of impurity also right it has dependence on temperature as well as the amount of impurity also next is about the impurity uh, that is first uh, same like first one only right purity is pure means here uh, it doesn't have intrinsic semiconductor doesn't have any impurity but extrinsic semiconductor has impurity either it can be a trivalent impurity or it can be a pentavalent impurity then now we are moving to the n type semiconductor and p type semiconductor how we can differentiate between these n type semiconductor and p type semiconductor so n type semiconductor and p type semiconductor both are extrinsic semiconductors only but it is varying depending on the impurity which we are adding if we are adding a pentavalent impurity like antimony phosphorus arsenic etc it will become an n type semiconductor but a trivalent impurity like boron gallium indium etc when we are adding it will become a p type semiconductor okay in the case of n type semiconductor the impurity atoms added will be providing extra electrons in the structure so that is why it is giving electrons right so it is called as donor atoms p type semiconductor when we are considering impurity atom added will be creating vacancies okay uh, the vacant spaces will be the vacancies of electrons so they are called as now holes holes will be more and it is called as acceptor atoms and here the third point is electrons are the majority carriers in n type semiconductor and in uh, holes will be the minority carriers just opposite as the case of p type semiconductor that is holes are the majority carriers and electrons are the minority carriers 
so i hope uh, today's video is useful for you and if you like the channel please don't forget to subscribe like and share thank you for watching bye